gonna love this. You're gonna love this. You're gonna love this. You're gonna love this podcast. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> <laughs> Welcome uh, to episode five of You're Gonna Love This. Uh, my name is Adam Mushkatel. I am your host and uh, resident musician, I guess. Mm-hmm. That's, that's a nice title. I like that. Uh, with me this week, you're already hearing her lovely voice, uh, <laughs> is my good friend, fellow improviser, mm-hmm. member of a team that we call Dad Jokes right now, and we're a little unsure if it's going to be the name in the future. Yeah, I don't like it, even though I made it up. <laughs> Tessa Marie Archer is Hello! here. Yeah, hi. Hi. How are you doing? I am so good. That's I can good. honestly, I cannot think of anything better to do with my day, uh-huh. especially being hungover, than being on a podcast. Yeah, uh, uh, we're both a little hungover. Mm-hmm. Uh, we just had a delightful little July Fourth. Today is July fifth when we're recording this, yes. uh, and we had just a little uh, wonderful uh, trailer park July Fourth party. Did you know that it was like nine hours? Yeah, that yeah. was a long party. Yeah, it was that was uh that was like a three to three to midnight kind of a deal. It was super fun. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Aaron and I, Aaron is my fiance, and we had it at yeah. at my um travel trailer. We live in a thirty foot travel trailer. Yes. And we were over at my RV park because I thought what would be more American and patriotic than a trailer park, even though this isn't really a trailer park. You know, I got the. I mean, I I don't know. I've never. I think that was the first time I've been to anything like a trailer park in my life. Mm-hmm. I had a great time. The folks there are very lovely. Yeah. Um, yeah, no, just a great time. Okay. Um, so, Tessa, the you're going to love this. This is a podcast where I interview mostly my friends so far. It's all been my friends. Hopefully okay. at some point somebody else. But uh, Or one of your friends will hopefully get famous. There you go. Yeah. And Hope then that'll be before really me. good. That'd yeah. be nice. Yeah, and then that'll make you famous. Yeah, maybe you're going to be in... Um, I mean, the goal would be like a Disney movie, right? That would I, be would the like, I would like, I would, Amy Adams' sister, uh-huh. like little oh, sister, yeah. or uh, 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 the, the next voice of the Disney princess that is not Moana. Well, if you get either of those roles, I think we have a spot for you on, on You're Gonna really? Love This for oh, Promo. That is very gracious of you. Um, so this podcast, uh, my goal on every episode is that I write the perfect song for whoever is my guest this week. Okay. Uh, that means... If there's any problem at all that you see with my song of any kind, be it you uh, said the word uh, cat and I could tell you wrote rat and you thought, you just said misspoke, um, that's enough. This is going to make me very uncomfortable. Good. I'm going to put you on the spot. I'm going to make you Okay, so that's hard. the point is you're going to make me be like blunt? You got to be. I need it. Uh, I'm trying to improve myself as a musician. Oh, okay. Podcast, so that's you know? the goal. Yeah, every episode I'm trying to get a little bit better. Oh, uh, uh, let me recap uh, for the listener and for you what's yes. been going on so far with the podcast. Okay, tell me. Four episodes deep, four different guests, four different no's. Uh, I did not get any perfect so far. Uh, which is to be expected. I did not think I would get any um, for a while. Now, did you bring me on for the fifth guest? Because you know I love you and I will probably just love everything you make, especially in relating, if it's related to me. Yeah, I did. I mean, I know you're <laughs> you are, you're a person that's not, you're going to have a lot of praise. Um, yeah. But I think, so you're going to be my first real struggle in terms of, I'm going to really have to force you to say no if it wasn't But you sounds like you want me to say no. I don't. I, I want to get a yes, but I want it to be earned. earned. I don't want to I don't want I get, get that. It. No, I feel you. That's why yeah. I never cheat. I, 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 want a, I want a real win. Yeah. 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 Um, so if, I'm, if I detect even like... If I'm, I'm going to be... You can it, smell it, my bullshit. Mm-hmm. You'll know. I'll know. Um, okay, but if, I'm, if I have the invitation of being a dick, then I'm going to take it. Please. If it's okay. a bad song, I want to know. Um, <laughs> okay. Have you already written it? No, no, improvised? it will be it will be written. Um, oh, we'll, we'll, okay. We'll get to that. Um, oh, okay. So, so let's talk a little bit. Um, first question. I kind of asked it a little bit, but mm-hmm. what's your uh, what's your emotional state right now? How are you? How are you feeling? Ooh. Yeah. Oh, this is very deep. I love this. I wasn't expecting this. My emotional state um, is the word complacency comes to mind, but I don't mm. like the word content. Complacency. Maybe. And then I was gonna say it's actually contentment. Okay, and, great. And I, uh, I used to be a, a, a real, a real asshole. Uh huh. Um, and and I think when I wanted my, well, I'm thirty. I just turned thirty. My fiance's thirty. Yeah. 
and I was so hell-bent on being like a Broadway star or like a, a movie star or yeah. something so much bigger than anybody else could be because I was amazing. Right. Tessa's got to be on the marquee. I got to be on the marquee. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, and then, But I didn't like myself as a person and oh. I didn't like the people I was around. Sure. So I started questioning that. And I, um, and then I also worked at Disney and I really didn't like the people there <laughs> either. And I was like, so what's going on here? Is this me? Is it where I am? No. Oh. And, uh, I had moved to LA before and Adam and I are both from Seattle, Washington. Whoop whoop. And. That's the, that's the Seattle. Wah wah. Uh, wah wah. That's wah, the wah. official noise, I think. Yeah, yeah. I think Macklemore made it up. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. He whoop whoops yeah. everywhere he goes. He does. Wah wah. And the <laughs> Valley Villages. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, yeah, so my emotional state is, it's in a constant state of confusion. Sure. Always confused. You're, you're somebody, uh, that is, I, scatter, scattered, I think. I was, I, I think that's, that's a good way to put it. I was gonna say, yeah, yeah a scattered brain doesn't feel right. It's not your brain, to it's me, just like. To me, though, it's like, it all makes sense to me. Sure. It's like a messy apartment. Like, you know where everything is. Yeah. Other yeah. people don't. But that, that, it's not really. Yeah, it's it's like uh, it's it's like uh, uh, you see other people see chaos. Yes. You see you see the order. And I see uh -huh. how it got there. I see right. where it needs to be. Sure. Uh huh. Uh, but in and, and that is why I moved into a travel trailer because I am so scatterbrained sure. because I do have such ADD. So let's just scatter ourselves across the world if we. Well, if we need yes. To. Yeah. Well, honestly, I'm such a vagabond. I mean, yeah. since I've been 18 for the past 12 years, I have moved. Every single six to eight months of my life. That's crazy. That's crazy to me. So I'm steering into the skin, and yeah. I'm on a travel trip. Okay. Hey, I like it. Yeah. I like it. Um, so contentment. All contentment. Right. It's, it's good. But, but but scattered. But but um, no. But no? but but then my ego flares up, uh -huh. and it goes, Hey, why aren't you famous? Okay, contentment, but with the the the, the rising tide. I have of... I have I have a, a juice behind it. Uh huh. Yeah, ego juice. So you're happy with where you are, but you're ready to move forward. I'm happy with where I am because I I have a certain sense of peace mm -hmm. because I haven't hit the goals that I thought I was going to get. Right. So you're at a point where you're like, time to reconfigure, time to revisit, figure out these new goals for this next Yeah, stage. but if I had, and and I I know you and I have different spiritual beliefs, uh -huh. but because I am a, a, a relatively spiritual person, even though I actually for the past two weeks have had such an atheist mindset, it's very bizarre. Uh -huh. All of a sudden I'm like, maybe there is no afterlife. Mm. This is me being scatterbrained right now. Yeah. Tangential. I yeah. apologize. I'm going to get back hey, to the point. <laughs> you know, whatever. I'm, I'm excited. I, we we spend more time not talking about the point than getting to the point okay, of this podcast. Good. So don't worry about it. Um, when you meet somebody like my fiance, Aaron, who to me is like the nearest to a perfect human being. Oh, that's that's such a lovely thing to hear. I just, I mean, sure, he drives me crazy sometimes, mm -hmm. but he's a human, like every human. But he is like a perfect specimen and, and soul and... The fact that he wants to be with me for the rest of my life is just like, okay, I did something right along the way. It's affirming something about you. Yeah. yeah. And even my friendships now with UCB, choosing choosing to go to UCB. I had a horrible experience. At, can we shit talk in, improv places? Whatever you want to do, man. fuck Groundlings. Hey. I'm going to come out and say it. If you are moving here... Just start at UCB. It is the most positive community I've ever been a part of. I will say, yeah, the the uh, UCB community. It's really. I mean, it's it's kind of not a community as much anymore because it's just so big. But right. you can find those pockets of people that are that really want to work together. It just seems to be and... a magnet for awesome people. Yeah. The teachers, the administrative staff, the students, the yeah. performers, like every the baristas, for God's sake. Like sure. every encounter I've had at UCB has been nothing but supportive. And, and and passionate and enthusiastic and, and at Groundlings it was horrible. And I I mean I haven't seen all of the shows at all of the other theaters, but I've seen almost all the shows at UCB and they're almost all fantastic. And don't you love watching like I'm like Aaron and I I, I love TV and I'm getting Aaron into sitcoms. I'm like UCB UCB oh, yeah. oh there's UCB it's like every it's just like it's brrr. everywhere it's true yeah um, commercials too everything yeah the uh, AT and T lady she was she did UCB for yeah. a long time Alana Vinkrub she's really great. Wait, she was in Silicon Valley, right? Yes, she plays uh, the uh, the little uh, Satanist. The, yeah, girlfriend. Mm -hmm. I love her. She's great. Yeah. Um, she has a really fun. I don't think she does it anymore. Let's talk about something more interesting. Was her her really fun talk show? Go and look it up if you. Uh, Is it in this podcast? It's a YouTube show. Oh, fun. 
fun. It's really fun. They, She's you know. so cute. Yeah, I really want to. Yeah, I love uh, it. Um, more. I'm gonna get, now. I feel like we've tangentiated enough. I'm gonna get us back to topic. Thank you. Um, let's talk uh, genres of music. What are some genres that you really love? Um, okay, yeah. I have a Dave Matthews tattoo. Okay. And I also have um, it's a jazz standard uh, called Nature Boy. Um, on my hip. Okay. Uh, that there was a boy, a very strange enchanted boy. Probably not going to be able to write a jazz standard. Uh, oh, I don't need you I to have. write a jazz standard. Okay, yeah, sure. Um, I just am saying, uh, those are the two tattoos I have on my body permanently until okay. I die. Um, so jazz, and uh-huh. I suppose... Like dad rock? Indie, indie, alter, alt rock? I, I what, question... What, what is he? I, I, I'm obsessed with him. I don't think anybody who fills up arenas everywhere he goes can be considered alternative. That's okay. my opinion. Okay. I don't know what he is. You're right. Yeah, I don't know what it is. I Maybe. think it's just hippie rock, honestly. Hippie. It's, yeah, it's it's, it's rock like, for the people that are like, where's... That dude can fucking jam, though, man. He's bluesy. Uh-huh. He's got the elements of um, South African from his childhood. Like, he has... He's got all sorts of stuff. Like, he... I love him. I, uh, I think it's going to be hard for you to write me a perfect song because when I get stoned... Uh-huh. If I listen to Dave Matthews or the Beatles, yeah. I swear to God, I am in their mindset, in a spiritual realm. I understand where they were, and they are speaking to me in some different plane, and that is what I love. I will say, uh, I I do have a lot of fun doing a Dave Matthews impression. So oh. I, think, I think you're probably going to get one. Yay! Uh, we, we get, I just did a, uh, I think on the last podcast, I did a, a five-second impression of him. You're gonna um, have to but, be ten seconds. Oh, it's gonna have to be a whole song's worth, I think. Yes. Um, probably. Um, uh, so yeah, so Dave Matthews. Okay. Uh, I, I love jazz and blues. Yeah. Like uh, fucking Blues Brothers, like that, just that movie, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. like tying in comedy into blues. Yes. Um, Lo- so many good musicians. I mean, in the, and, and then in that like movie. golden era of uh, musical theater. Okay. Tying this, into Disney. Is it's that like Di- Rodgers and Hammerstein stuff? No, or what is that? I mean. Um, you know what? I, I, I'm going to strike that. MGM musicals. Okay. What are, give me Judy Garland. Okay. Oh, so the, the movie musicals. The, the, yes, um, but I also enjoy, you know, I was a musical theater actress sure. for six years in mm-hmm. Seattle. Uh, but there's a reason I'm not in it anymore because oftentimes <laughs> I'm like, this is stupid. Yeah. Uh, so let's just do MGM. Yes. Let's do right. movie musicals. All right. All right. But that golden era, like 30s, 40s, early 50s. Man, I, uh, I haven't seen Blues Brothers in a while, but that movie has so many... It's like, uh, uh, they do movies like that now, where it's just like lots of famous people. Yeah. Like the Entourage movie was kind of like that, uh, but like that's you all don't the care. Entourage movie was. But like, but like you don't care. It's like so many and no, it's none like of them. Dumb. But like you care when it's like, oh shit, that's Ray Charles. Yeah, that's Aretha real. Franklin just Holy coming fuck. out. Just yeah. Like these are these are and and they didn't get them to not do anything they're good at, like in the mm-hmm. Entourage movies, where it's just like, Liam hey. Neeson, come and call me a pig fucker for three seconds and yeah. then get off the screen. Yeah. It's like, no, Ray Charles, you sing your ass off, and you do it amazingly. Oh, man. Dan Aykroyd is my... So it's like Dan Aykroyd and Dave Matthews are the two people that I want to meet more than anybody else. I've heard Dan Aykroyd is a really big asshole. I've heard two different varying stories. Okay, give me... What's the nice story? Um, I think if you're, he's very into aliens and supernatural, and that's why, another reason I think he and I would get along mm-hmm. so well. And, like... That's definitely true. I yeah. didn't say that's not true. No, I think yeah. if you lead with that, I okay. think, I've heard that he's like, yeah, let's talk. I okay. think he, like, wants to shoot the shit for reals. Uh-huh. But if I, I mean, he's probably an asshole to people who are assholes to him. I'm an asshole to people who are assholes to me. At least I'm trying to be. I'm trying to, you know, uh-huh. be stronger. Yeah, no, that's good. <laughs> I just, yeah... He feels like... Where did you hear that? Who said that he was an asshole? It just feels like scuttlebutt. Maybe I'm wrong. Scuttlebutt. Uh, I just... want to use that word more. You should. Scuttle... Everybody should say scuttlebutt all the time. Scuttlebutt just means, like... Rumors. Okay. Um, yeah. Just, uh, you know, floating like around. Like zeitgeist? Yeah, it's zeitgeisty. Okay. It's, it's just floating around. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah. I haven't heard uh, anything. I like scuttlebutt like ska that. music, you know? Oh, yeah. <laughs> scuttlebutt ska. I kind of like ska. Ska's like, uh, 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 did you know the band... It trips me out how much you know 90s music by the way i love 90s music you're like you're almost eight years younger than me or like yeah. seven and i'm like how the fuck do you know what and i love it uh-huh. um it's not no doubt it's a uh 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 oh no real big fish no save ferris 
I know the name. I don't. I don't think I've heard the band though. Oh, but I do. My yeah. Jam. That's a real good '90s band name because it's like an Say, '80s reference. Exactly. Which is perfect. That's Super the, hip. That's yeah. the right amount of time. Yeah. Exactly. Relation. Like, look how cute we are. Yeah. I wanted to write a song. I never did it. Uh, last year, called 2015. That was nostalgic about when they wrote the song 1985. Um, <laughs> Uh, but I think that's stupid. Wait, what's the song? I was thinking 1999 by Prince. 1985, like, like, Springsteen, Madonna, waiting for Nirvana, and it's you too, and Blondie. So it would be a song that's like, Bowling for Columbine. Oh, I don't know. I was, oh, I've seen, so the amount of time that has passed. Yeah, so now, we're, now we're nostalgic about the time that. when that song got written. I'd listen to that. Well, I didn't write it, so you can't. Um, <laughs> sorry. Well, then fuck you. I don't want to listen to it. Yeah, you can't. Um, uh, I, I don't even think this is going to lead us into any good conversation topics, but I just want to mention that uh, Duck Dunn is the name of one of the guitarists who plays in the Blues Brothers Band, and I just love that name so much. Duck Dunn. Yeah. Steve Cropper and Duck Dunn. Those are the... Duck those are the, Dunn. Those guys are good. Duck Dynasty. Mm. That's all I thought of. Sorry. I thought that's where you were going with it, and I was no. like, what are you... Okay. I did not have a Duck Dynasty pun in my head. Okay, cool. I, I wish I did. <laughs> Um, let's see, what's some other stuff? Oh, here's some questions that I have to feel, I feel like I have to ask now yeah. on every episode because I, of some reasons I got for why it wasn't perfect in the past. Um, so how do you feel about lying in music? Like, for instance, if I said it was snowing, would you be upset about that because it's not, not snowing if right it now? Was, not if in your, in, your, in your body it felt like whatever was happening in our relationship felt snowy to you. If you were okay. using it as like an analogy or as like a well, colorful turn of phrase. Well, here's the here's what happened. Uh, I'll just okay. explain it. So okay. Byron, one of the previous guests, he got upset at me because I said uh, the sun is shining in one of my lyrics, and uh, it was cloudy out that day, and he was but like, "That's, that's not, not true. fair." I agree. I, I'm, I'm that's why I'm asking. I agree, but when I when you I need to wrote the song, this. which is the truth of the moment, uh huh, of writing it. You know, I see, and but I think his his thing was, I assume. He assumes truth, but he's not there for the writing process. Is so he's, he an artist at all? Yeah, no, he's just very literal. Oh, um, boy, he sounds like a real barrel of laughs. <laughs>, <laughs> well, um, so you're going to be fine with lying in songs is basically the answer. Uh, as I long would as say it's... lying. Is that lying? That's how he thought of it. Well, fuck Byron. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that's No, a, as if it's, if it's true to what you are feeling in the moment of writing it, then no. Okay, and uh, one other question... Because that's um, poetry. Yes. Yes. Uh, on the poetry side, that's yes. been my biggest problem so far has been that the lyrics have been dodgy. Uh, okay. Uh, so how do you feel about rhyming? Do you think it's important for you in songs? Do you feel like you need it for to, to I do a not song? think it is important. I do. I like to think of myself as an amateur poet, uh -huh. so you might have some pressure there. Okay. That okay. is the most pretentious thing I've ever said. I've actually... It's one of the most pretentious things I've ever heard. Really? Um, I think so. <laughs> You're right, because I've never said that out loud. I'm trying to think. For me... a moment, I forgot there was a microphone. Okay, let's and now do a I let's everything. do a let's do a pretentious off. Let's see if we can get more pretentious sentences. Than and that. and are these well true? No, it doesn't have to be. Oh um, God. Well, after I got my <laughs> master's in theology from Harvard, I just thought, why not move to the Caymans? Okay, but I said that. <laughs> <laughs> I think I've, I eclipsed you at least. <laughs> I said I wouldn't judge it. I'm a bit of an amateur poet, so... Because I'm just saying I love poetry, is all I'm saying. And, uh -huh. I, do, and I love all kinds of poetry. At least I you love... didn't say, like, I consider myself an exactly. amateur poet. Exactly, so it's going to be very difficult for you to be in my... Yeah, no. <laughs> when I think of what, like, the title of me in my mind is, I think amateur poet Tessa Archer. No, no. <laughs> Can we please just edit this? It's just... Nope. nope. <laughs> okay. Well, if anybody needs a, uh, an amateur poem for their 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 partner next Valentine's Day, you can. I'll write it for you for five bucks. Etsy. You should sell your amateur poems on it. You should. Uh, are you any good at like uh, macrame or any uh, any any I'm stitching? A, I'm an amazing crafter. Yeah. But like with glue and. Okay. No. You could do like a, a, a what's it called? Like uh, a, like where you stitch collage. it into a pillow. Maybe you could do like a collage of your poems. Uh, yeah. With, with, like maybe like a like serial killer stitched together yeah. kind of thing. Okay. You know what I mean? Where it's they a like, hostage note. Yeah, like... hostage note kind of deal. <laughs> <laughs> that's for for on February fourteenth. Would you love to get a hostage note on, on Valentine's Day? Yeah. From I your mean, loved one. Like you know, fear has a big part to do with sex. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Do you want to stop talking about 
No, I think that's good. I, I think yeah, okay. that's something that people they have people haven't explored that angle for Valentine's Day. Okay, things. well, it's, it's... everybody, my name is Tessa Archer. Find me. I will make you a scary poem. Very scary poem. <laughs> I'm not gonna say it's good because you know I am an amateur. Right. But <laughs> it will definitely be filled with like horrifying imagery. Yeah. Um, yeah. Mm-hmm. Good. Um, I, I I say I don't. I don't need rhyming because Damien Rice is one of my favorite okay. um, singers, and he doesn't rhyme. Mm-hmm. One of my favorite songs is called Accidental Babies, and I hate the title, but I love the song. And, like, he's just kind of telling this beautiful melodic story. Yeah. Um, I, fi- I find, like, I ask that question, I usually end up rhyming anyway because I think it's a little bit it's a little bit easier to think of a I've word. what I've given you, Dave Matthews doesn't rhyme. Uh, jazz standards rhyme. Uh, uh-huh. Blues rhymes, yeah. musical theater rhymes, Disney rhymes. Mm-hmm. So I-, I have a feeling I've got a rhymey song coming my way. You might. Um, it's pos- It's definitely possible. Okay. Um, I, hmm, I wonder if, do I need anything else? Let me see. I love Boney Bear. He doesn't rhyme. No, no. Okay. Yeah, I can deal. So I, it might be rhymey, might be not. Um, I love the not- Beatles. They rhymed in the beginning and then not in the end. So I love it all, man. Yeah. I hate pop music. Yeah. You're not good with that? I hate pop music. Okay. I have to wear earplugs pretty much wherever... Wherever you go, there is pop music blaring. This is true. Um, well, that's good because I have a guitar and guitars are not popular anymore. Um, so you're not going to get pop music. But Dave Matthews plays a guitar. He does. So that's good for me. <laughs> I just burped. Um, that's all right. <laughs> I'm just sitting in my... Oh, okay. We oh, still got are time. we good? No, no okay. we got more time to talk. Okay. Um... Let's see. What else do we want to talk about? Yeah. What do you? What do you? I love emotional things. Um. Let's see. What's so? What's like? Uh. What's your favorite Dave Matthews song? Yeah. Uh, in my tattoo. What's your tattoo? Stay or leave. Okay. Uh. This tattoo is for uh my best friend Crystal. Mm-hmm. She cause okay. So I'm thirty. Yeah. So what I was in fifth grade. It was 1998. Just like the peak of Dave Matthews. Right. Oh no! Wait. 98. 96. So we were like 10, yeah. And he came out with... It's Crash Into Me right around that yeah, time. That's yeah, that's right. That's exactly what I was going to say. Um, and, uh, yeah, thank you. That was a fist pound for the audience at home. Wait, what was that? Is that the sound? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> sound? Thanks, Macklemore. <laughs> um, uh, so we grew up... And Dave Matthews lives in Seattle. Yes. Um, and his favorite venue is The Gorge, which is two hours away from Seattle. Uh, so I just grew up with Dave Matthews all around me sure. and shaping my existence. And one of, so, I just remembered this now. One of my uh, one of the one of my friends who was on my college improv team mm-hmm. uh, is a uh, good family friends with Dave Matthews. Actually, <sighs> I'm sorry to tell you that. No, you know what? Uh, most humans in my life in Seattle have met have Dave like Matthews. a Dave connection. I actually have. If we have time, I have a very sad story of, in, uh, about an ex boyfriend with Dave Matthews. Oh boy, how yeah. sad. It's not sad because <laughs> fuck this guy. Okay, but, great. Let's hear but it. But it's, um, anyways, just to finish Dave Matthews, mm-hmm. and then it was like a rite of passage when you were 16, 17 to go to the gorge and like get yeah, drunk yeah. for the first time and like I experimented with drugs over at the gorge. Ooh. Like, oh yeah, I hope my mom and dad aren't listening to this. Are you posting this publicly on my wall on Facebook? I wasn't planning on it. Yay! But, okay, um, good. Then yes, I did mushrooms and it was really fun. Um, it's up to you where, where this goes. Uh, okay, so this, of, yeah. the song Stay or Leave. So Crystal was my neighbor yeah. and my be- one of my best friends growing up. And she she and I just became obsessed with Dave. Uh, and she, uh, when I moved to Hong Kong, two weeks later she moved to London. Hmm. Um, and then we came home, but she ended up getting engaged. So she ended up moving to London permanently. And so before she left, we got matching tattoos of this song stay or leave because it was very much like i said i move every six months right and the hardest thing for me it's is a question you're asking yourself a lot more often than most people uh most it's people, true yeah. and it, the, when you listen to the song it, it, there's a there's a lyric that goes so what to do with the rest of the day's afternoon and it hits me in the chest because it's like when you say goodbye to people you love hmm. you don't have a day you have death in your heart like i just i think back on all of the the goodbyes I've had to say to people. And this tattoo is also related to my friend Drew Barth, who mm-hmm. um, was the first person really to love me unconditionally. Yeah. And this song, when you listen to these lyrics, and it's just... Um, and if, if you've never listened to this song, I recommend uh, Dave Matthews um, playing it with... Oh, it's a two, it's a dude. It's just them, those two playing in New York City. Okay, who's this dude? It's live at Radio City, and, his, and I'm blanking on this dude's name, but it's the live at Radio City version kills me i feel like that's enough information for you yeah listen to it like and just i am a stranger to you 
but just it moves my me to my soul and maybe the world to you too. I hope they're not total strangers. I feel like we've gotten into some interesting deep stuff in this conversation. I think they're they've I got at least love, twenty minutes of. Uh, I would time love nothing more than to turn somebody onto the song and have it help them through a goodbye. Yeah. Or have it just having them reminisce back on a, a goodbye they've had to say to a lover or a friend or a family member, because it's like. The, the I love leaving, but mm. the hardest part is saying goodbye to people I love and my friends. Yeah. Like, I don't like L.A., but now that I've met you guys, I'm like, how am I going to leave L.A.? I, I love you. you guys. Yeah. Yeah. That's the hard part. Uh, okay, I think that's... Is that good? That's good. That feels like a nice... Uh, uh, Dramatic ending. ending. Yeah, it feels good. <laughs> um, so, Tessa, now comes the uh, uh, timer slash musical palette cleanser section okay. of the podcast. I have a question for you. Yes. Have you ever heard the song uh, Cars by Gary Newman? I don't know. How does it go? Um, you'll find out because you're going to listen to it three times in a row. Why? Uh, because uh, that is both uh, going to get you in the right mood oh. to, to be ready to receive my song. Oh. And it is the amount of time that I have to write my song. Uh, so this so, is an improvised song. Well, it's uh, like 11 minutes of writing. Um, but so, you're not like okay, okay. I'm not like taking a. I'm you're not, not taking like Hemingway. A no. Okay, 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 okay. I I have a very limited amount of time. So to do it I on. have 11 minutes. Yeah. To um, listen to a song three times in a row. Correct. Great. Uh, and when you're out of that, uh, you know, little chamber of of your life, then you get to receive my song. Do you want any hints for how this will be perfect for me, or are you just gonna fucking do it? Oh, I've I haven't even I've not even thought about that. Just directly asking, how can I make this song perfect for you? Have That's you had it. a woman on yet? I had Jennifer on. Um, okay. Yeah, I, I mean, I didn't get it perfect for her. Did, Maybe did, I should... did you do a country song? What did I sing for Jennifer? I don't think so. I, I sang. Can't uh, wait to hear that. It was like a, a singer songwritery thing. Um, Aww. Yeah. Uh, okay. Get, sure. Know. Sure. What What hints do you have for perfect? Um, deeply emotional. Okay. Yeah. No, I I was getting that. Um. um yes. Yeah, I, I write, I've learned, the last one I, I, I was, uh, I think, maybe my best song, and I've, uh, my new strategy is kind of similar to L. Ron Hubbard. This was, uh, <laughs> I've heard a phrase of his, his writing, he had a motto for his writing philosophy, which was, first draft, last draft, get it out the door, which just meant he never reread anything he ever wrote, he never, he never second drafted anything. Wow. That's how he wrote, like, he has the most, he's the Guinness record for, like, most Yeah, he was novels. the most prolific writer, right? And that's how, is because he never second-guessed anything he ever did. I learned from a, a famous photographer last year of, like, if you wait for your art to be perfect, you will create nothing. Yep. Yeah. Um, and, uh, in 11 minutes, I have no You've time to this. wait around. You've got this, man. All right, Tessa, uh, I'll see you on the other side. Let's put you in that, uh, prison. We'll be and, in the booth. All right, we'll be right back on You're Gonna Love This. Algorithm, 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 amen. Welcome, fellow keepers of the Great One, fellow watchers. Uh, okay, I'm sorry, let's just hold on. Real, real quick, have, has anyone else noticed? How our chant at the beginning is the tune is the same as the song Cars by Gary Newman. Yeah, that one. A Gary Newman classic. Yeah, yes. I'm just I'm just concerned about possible copyright issues. Mm. Yes. I well, it was my idea to use that as the tune. Uh, I thought. It conveyed a lot of the messages of our organization. Uh, Benny, you back me up. You you came up with a lot of this too. When it comes to copyright, algorithm, Amen, has blessed us with imperfect voices. Right. Mm, there is true. no way that the combined notes were hidden could be. Similar yeah. to Gary Newman cars enough. That's true. Yeah. Yeah. I think yeah, we're so, so we're saying that we're we're missing these notes on purpose, right? We're of no, well, yes, of course. Yes, as a as a byproduct of algorithms blessing. Oh, Amen. Man. Yes. Yes, yes, we are excellent singers and we are 
missing these notes on purpose. No. Put that, write that into the Constitution somewhere. Is there a place that where we can put that? Say so, one time. Sorry, I was just thinking about Gary uh, you Newman. Thinking about Gary Newman. Yeah. I, what about Gary Newman? Like his well, face? Or? No, well, he was the one to tell me about algorithm. Oh, oh man. man. Wait, really? Yeah. Gary yeah. Newman. Yeah. He brought me here to this this dungeon. He was the one who introduced me to this this lair. Wow. Man. Why has Gary Newman never shown up to a meeting? Yeah, what's well, up with that? He's busy. What do you think? He's out touring all the time. He's one of the more. Well, he could send a letter or something. Something, you know, appreciate. I mean, he. Token of his thoughts. I get texts. You get texts? Well, okay. Well, I understand. I see, I see how it is. That's fine. I don't. It's, it's, it's. I didn't. I shouldn't have brought it up. I should never have said anything. I feel like it's made a rift. What biz- What meeting is this, by the way? You yeah. never said at the start. What? Well, let's say you were at 211 yesterday. Right. So, this is your job. 200 and... No, we already had 212, I think. How, what? So, how? What meeting? Just no. say a number. We'll accept it. 14. All right. I don't see why I have to do that every time. That's, it's in the Constitution. It's a part of the Great One's vision oh, uh, to keep. Uh, did I mean to offend you? Do you know how you can earn algorithms for me? Oh, Great Prophet Benny, please inform me. We missed an algorithm. I know, I was just going to say. Uh, to, oh. to earn. To earn. The Great One's forgiveness. You must subscribe to You're Gonna Love This Podcast on iTunes and SoundCloud. And you must like and comment on the You're Gonna Love This Facebook page. And you must leave a rating in every book of record you can find. You must appease the Great One. You must earn forgiveness from algorithm. Amen. Um, well, again, uh, Shane, you have to close the meetings that is in the Constitution. Wait. What? Before you close the meeting. Yeah. John. Yes? Does Gary Newman use emojis? Um, he's a big fan of the 100 emoji. He sends that uh, without context over and over again. What meeting of George? Algorithm. 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 Welcome back, everybody, to You're Gonna Love This. Tessa, how was your car's break? It was kind of magical, man. Yeah. I forgot about that song. This is two guests in a row that have enjoyed it. I'm, I'm on a streak. Uh, yeah. Most of the time, I think people really, uh, really hate it. Really? Yeah. Uh, I've had a couple severe dislikes. Jennifer was okay. Um, I think she, she enjoyed it well, a little bit. Well, I Instagram, so I wasn't really listening. Mm. So I was just Instagramming. Okay. Well, but I Instagram for you, man. Do you feel, uh, do you feel cleansed? Do you feel musically palate cleansed? <sighs> I realize how highly caffeinated and hungover I am, and that puts me in the perfect emotional state to intake your art. Okay. Yeah. I wasn't sure yes. where that was going to go, but uh, I'm glad oh, to yeah, hear man. it. All right. Okay. Here we go. Um, let's do it. Before we start, I want this to be perfect. I want you to win. Okay. I'm glad to, to know that, because um, I feel like most of my guests haven't really cared. I care a lot. Oh, that's I'm, good. I want you to win this. You know, I'm glad. Hopefully, uh, listeners feel the same way. Um, or is this like... Is this supposed to be a running gag? I mean, I'm nev- I don't think I'm really ever going to do it. I honestly, okay. I honestly never I don't think you will either, but I was like, okay. Uh, it's so, yeah. It's I, just, I, just, I just wanted you to know I love you and I believe in you. <laughs> Thank you, Tessa. <laughs> um, here we go. Give me a 
one piece of that heart Let me into your doll house tonight Find a way to me through the thorns Summer heat beats down on my shoulders, <laughs> drains me of my soul of total. I walk through the desert of LA. I find you, I break down, and then I start to say, Give me a piece of that heart. <laughs> Let me hit into your dollhouse tonight. Find a way through the thorns at my side. It's done. Okay, cool. <laughs> <laughs> All right. There's your song, Tessa. Mm -hmm. um, all mm -hmm. right. So, uh, you wanted me to succeed. You wanted me to write you the perfect song. Mm -hmm. Did I do it? No. <laughs> good. I'm glad that you said no immediately. No. Um, yeah. Mm -hmm. That's good. Uh, okay. So, what, what wasn't perfect? I am a stickler for, which is funny that I like Dave Matthews. Uh-huh. Um, I didn't know what you were saying. <laughs> and I and I would have That's to funny. I would immediately if I liked the tune I would immediately go to like lyrics.com and be like what is he saying? No, he said if I liked the tune. Yeah. I liked I liked uh Is Dave Matthews more melodic do you think than what I was going what I what I ended up with? Do you think he gets it to a better mel a No, melodic I think place? that was very Dave Matthews. Okay. Yeah. So, so I hit that I hit that uh uh a bump, okay? I did the I, I felt like the guitar part I like, was trying to I sound like the guitar also. I, I like the the chorus is that what I'm trying uh -huh. to say Give me the piece of that heart mm -hmm. fly away Uh-huh fly fly high Fly high Uh-huh What does that have to do with giving me a, you a piece of my heart First ref last ref get it out the door Got it <laughs> All right Hubbard Uh I liked the the line about um the, the the summer sun is beating down on your shoulders. Uh -huh. Beautiful line. Yeah, that's you a like great that? lyric. Okay. Um, did did you have a chicka chicka boom boom? Yeah, I said uh, chicka da boom boom whoop whoop. Whoop whoop. I yep. loved the callback. <laughs> Love me a callback, but callbacks uh, no place in a song. Come on. I don't know. See, I I see. I go harsh on yeah, you, was, and then you give me yeah. a face, and I want to die. <laughs> so I'm not going to be harsh. <laughs> I just love getting reactions out of you, Tessa. Uh, whatever they are, I just want to see them large. I don't want to make you feel bad. And what? So I'm glad. I'm glad. I'm just getting something. Okay. Um, you're, you're not going to make me feel bad. You're you're being way nicer than most people are. Really? Oh yeah. Oh. Um, yeah. Uh, so so some good lyrics at least. That's good. I think. After 11 minutes, uh -huh. uh, that was perfect. Well, that doesn't count, though. No, uh, you're right. Be, it yeah. was not, and it was not, it was not, you did not, you did not succeed. Okay. Um, <laughs> musically, you think the music, did you, did you enjoy? Do you think, <laughs> or the, the guitar, I, do you think you would have needed anything It's going to be stuck better? in my head. Well, that's good. I liked that. Um, there was a minor chord up front I didn't like. I didn't know if it was a mistake. It was. Okay. Um, I didn't like that. Yeah, it was very dissonant. <laughs> okay. And I, I, did you see the look on my face when it happened? No, I was okay. just focusing and listening. Yeah, I went, I went um, from, it was, and then I did that Yeah, on accident. that made me feel bad. Yeah, that was an accident. Um, oh. so there's a perfect reason to not give me a perfect, is that the perfect version of that song <laughs> would so not affect that. That's harsh, though. Fucking deal with it. Okay. Uh, uh, yeah. Right. Audience, you, me, we all got to deal with Art it. Art is perfect as in its imperfections, except for sure. this song. <laughs> and if you, but so so, but but if if it's only perfect if you were like, yes, I really was happy that You're he right. did the the yeah. discord. Because maybe I maybe at some point I will make a mistake and it'll make people. I'm happy. thinking of the Green Day song. So take a photograph and still frozen in your Good riddance, like, time of your life. Do, do, do. And it's yeah. like he fucks up in the beginning, but I love it. Yeah, he kind of... Uh, and they yeah. keep it in, the the track. 
Quietly. I don't remember that song. Um, I don't care. Uh, you know that song. I know the song. I don't remember it. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Um, um okay. yeah. Oh, what boy. are the lyrics? You want to look? You yeah. want to get... So, okay, tell me... Okay, dig into those lyrics, see if you can... Give me a piece of that heart. Uh-huh. Let me into your dollhouse. Yeah. Was this, like, callback from our earlier conversation? Maybe. Uh, I don't... First draft, last draft, get it at the door. I like I that because it's, like, um, his Crash song. Crash uh-huh. into me. Yeah. Um, I'm the king of the castle. You're the... Wait, what is he? He's like, uh, hack up that skirt. Li- what does he say? Show your world to me. Mm-hmm. So that reminds me of that. Uh, find a way... Through the thorns to me. Oh, you crossed that out. Yeah, uh-huh. You know what? I like the original better. Okay. Find a way to me that doesn't hurt us both. Love that. See, line. it felt a little, felt a little too Love on the nose for me. Morose. So, oh, on the nose. On the nose. So that's why I went through the is thorns. That, it's a is that is that on the nose? I don't know. Maybe it's not. Um, I think that's very truthful and beautiful. Okay. Well, find a way to me that doesn't hurt us both. You must have a a, a past where somebody. I mean, that's very, yeah. implies a lot to you. Okay. And, and, and as more. a woman, I would get that, especially if I uh-huh. had a tendency to be masochistic uh-huh. or, or spiteful or manipulative to All men. Right. Oh, so yeah. this was an example where I didn't do first draft, last draft, get it at the door, and I should have. Yeah, I actually do not like Through the Thorns to me. Okay. It's too, too, too flowery. Too too, too, uh... Because I want, like, what are you trying to say? I don't know. Cause, because <laughs> Let Me Into Your Dollhouse is uh-huh. like, what does he mean there? I don't want the second line to also be like, what does he mean, mean? You know okay. If you, so, yeah, anyways. All right, all right. I love this line, though. Find a way to me that doesn't hurt us both. All right. All uh, right. Summer uh, heat beats down on my shoulders. Yeah. Drains. Drains my soul to. I kind of just uh, Where did it go? that line. Oh, okay. Um, drains my soul total was the. Was oh, I like what, that. Was... Soul total. That uh-huh. sounds nice. Okay. It's very Shakespearean. Uh-huh. Uh, walk through the desert of L.A. Uh-huh. I find you. I, I find break you. Down. I break down. Then I start to say. Yeah, and then the chorus again. Let me into your dollhouse. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah, I'd give this song uh, uh, a one point nine out of ten. <laughs> <laughs> that was harsh. No, wow. was it? Do you not think that's harsh? <laughs> You've invited me to be harsh. I'm glad you did, but wow. And I feel so. That's like a very like. It's categorical. That's like, you're like... I'm sorry. That's so far... I meant 9.1. Did you? Mm-mm. No, you didn't. 1.9 out of 10 is well, so far so... from an F. Like, I'm not even close to an F Wait, yet. really? Fs well, are 60%. Per- no, it's D is 60%. Everything else is F. I would give this a, a D minus. Okay. D- thank you for giving me a letter grade that translated... I, I'm hap- so much happier with a D- minus than a 1.9 out of 10. You barely passed. Like, 1.9 out of 10 on Rotten Tomatoes is, like, almost everybody hated it. And it's like, like that Jesus movie with the guy from that sitcom. What that are you got talking tra- about? Cameron. Somebody Cameron. Cameron. Oh, the Kirk Cameron Kirk thing. Kirk Cameron. Yeah, yeah, no, that's like, yeah. This was not the Kirk Cameron Jesus movie of songs. Good. This was, like, Deuce Bigelow, European gigolo. Oh, all right. Okay, I can take that. Tessa, uh, thank you for coming. I, f- I feel very blessed, though, that you wrote me a song. Well, great. Uh, this is the end. We're wrapping up here. Goodbye. Goodbye. Uh, okay. Do you have any... Uh, do you want people to follow you on Instagram? Yeah. Or good at My you name somewhere? is uh, Tessa Marie Archer, and mm-hmm. I am... I Yeah, it's all about travel and puppies and comedy. Wonderful. And yeah. Um, you can follow uh, me on Twitter at Mushkatel. Uh, which should be spelled somewhere near this podcast. Good luck figuring it out. Uh, <laughs> that's all for this week. Tessa, Yay. thank you for being on. Thank you, Adam. Yeah. Um, You're very talented. Uh, you uh, are kind of a piece of shit, and I love you so much. <laughs> no! All right. Okay. I just Bye! Bye! <laughs>